Hi everyone, it's Steve here at Barwell UK Airbridge Supplies. We've had sent in this Badger 200 airbrush and uh, the brief we've been given is that it's um, the needle bearing issue. Which 200 it is I haven't been told. It is the uh, old style 200 and uh, the brief was that it also needs a clean. We'll give the airbrush a quick try. virtually no air coming out of the uh, airbrush at all. Um, as you can probably see it is an understatement to say it is uh, somewhat caked up. I have been told it has had a new head but as you can probably see there's no tip and there's some bad marks around the head itself oh. the needle's not going to come out as it is well locked in and I think yeah The reason that the uh, trigger fell off, as I always state, make sure you take an airbrush apart in the middle of a table, preferably in a tray or on a towel or some soft material so the parts don't bounce onto the floor and be lost. Um, when I do look into the airbrush, the actual needle bearing is sitting just inside. So that is why we've got no air coming out. Um, and that is the needle bearing there. So the needle bearing is here and it was almost ready to fall out. Um, it is looking very very thin in its actual construction so it definitely needs a new needle bearing and uh, as the customer said the airbrush does need cleaning so I'll put this one in to soak and uh, have a look at it uh, hopefully tomorrow after it's been given a good dousing and try and get all this very old paint off. This airbrush was in to soak for about three days and um, it did look um, quite a state when it was in to soak and I'll put um, a picture or two of this um, so you can see what it was really like. Uh, unfortunately I didn't get a video of it but um, it's all been cleaned off now, blew off and um, when I do blow the airbrushes off I just put this onto our, onto our quick disconnect, turn the air on and give it a good blow about. Now the one thing you do have to be careful is when you're using a, uh, a plug 
to blow off they do have washers in them so be careful and do take these out and then blow it and then remember to put the washer back into the uh, quick disconnect plug um, so now I shall fit all this airbrush up fit its new needle bearing and lubricate it all up and um, then we'll have a go at testing it I will speed the film up on this because we've done several 200s that have uh, got detailed showing how to build it all up but I will speed it up uh, don't want to bore you too much so I'll get this built up get the new needle bearing in lubricate it all up and then we'll try and make sure the airbrush is working and uh, go from there So just testing the airbrush, it is now working perfectly be fine, um, but before the original head, I believe the tip and there's something wrong with the head itself, um, was pulsating, uh, which you could see in the video, and I've just put a new head on it and the airbrush is working absolutely fine um, yeah so I'm well chuffed with that uh, considering how dirty it was and everything a head and that and this is um, one of the cases as um, we're seeing quite a lot where the tip um, is splayed open slightly and enlarged because the needle is being forced down the tip and uh, opening it up and that appears to be the problem with this airbrush also so now I'll get this airbrush wiped round and uh, get it back to the customer thank you so much for watching I hope you do find them helpful and informative and uh, it helps some airbrushers uh, discover their problems again thank you so much for watching